Hello friends, welcome to the channel Basics of Biology, a step to learning biology. Today, I am going to discuss about a very interesting topic. What is microbiology? This video will help those who are recently admitted to undergraduate with microbiology honors and those of you who are studying 11th or 12th standard and interested in microbiology. Please watch till the end. I will give every important information related to microbiology. So let's start the topic. At first, we have to know what is microbiology. Microbiology is the branch of biology dealing with living organisms of microscopic size. That means the organisms we can see by naked eye. These are only visible under microscope. Microbiology research encompasses all aspects of these microorganisms such as their behavior, evolutions, ecology, biochemistry, physiology, along with pathology of disease that they cause. Now definitions. Microbiology is defined as the study of microorganisms that are too small to be visible in naked eye. The organisms included bacteria, viruses, fungi, algae, and protozoa. Let's know about discovery of microbiology. The existence of microorganisms was discovered by two scientists. They are Leeuwenhoek and Robert Hooke in between 1665 to 1683. But Leeuwenhoek is considered as father of microbiology because he was the first person to produce precise and collect descriptions of bacteria and protozoa using a microscope which was made by himself. But do you know the term microbiology was not coined by them. The term microbiology was given by French chemist Louis Pasteur. But all three of them were great scientists of the history of microbiology. Next, branches of microbiology. Branches of microbiology are two types. First one is on the basis of taxonomic characteristics where the morphological, physiological and molecular characteristics of microbiology is studied. So let's see the branches. Bacteriology, Virology, Mycology, Parasitology, Phycology, Protozoology, Immunology. And the next type is on the basis of applications and these are aeromicrobiology, marine microbiology, soil microbiology, food microbiology, industrial microbiology, medical microbiology, biotechnology and geomicrobiology. Let's know about each branches. First one is bacteriology. Bacteriology is the study of the morphology, ecology, structures, genetics and many other aspects of bacteria. Next one is virology. Virology is the scientific study of viruses and about viral diseases. Next one is mycology. Mycology is the scientific study of fungi including their taxonomy, genetics, biochemical properties and about their use to humans. Fourth one is Parasitology. Parasitology is the branch of science which deals with parasites and their infectious diseases. Mainly the topic covers about parasites, hosts and the association between them. Next, Phycology. Phycology is the study of algae including their morphology, ecology, etc. Next, Protozoology. This is the study about protozoa. And next, immunology. Immunology is the study of immune system of the body, the way in which the body defends itself against invading foreign particles to the body, such as pathogenic organisms, chemical particles, or internal invaders like tumors. Next, on the basis of applications. First one is aeromicrobiology or air microbiology. Aeromicrobiology is the study of living microorganisms 
which are suspended in air along with the particulate matters of air. Second one is bottom or marine microbiology. Marine microbiology is the scientific study of all biological aspects of microorganisms which are exist in the water. Next one is soil microbiology. Soil microbiology is the study of microorganisms and their activities which are present in soil. Next one is food microbiology. Food microbiology is the study of microorganisms which are inhabit, create, contaminate and cause spoilage of the food. Next, industrial microbiology. Industrial microbiology is the study of the large scale and profit motivated productions of microorganisms or their products for manufacture other goods or direct use of them. In industrial microbiology, microorganisms are grown on a large scale to produce important and valuable products. Next, medical microbiology. Medical microbiology is the study of microorganisms basically about their functions and characteristics and their prevention which are capable of causing disease in human beings. And the last one is geomicrobiology. Geomicrobiology is the intersections of geology and microbiology. Geomicrobiology is the study of role of microorganisms in the geological and geochemical processes that shape the earth. Means now different types of microorganisms influence the chemical and physical features of environment. Now let's discuss about why microbiology is important. There are several ways in which microorganisms benefit us. They play crucial role in our life. First one is food production. Microorganisms are involved in producing many foods and beverages. Microbes such as bacteria, molds and yeast are employed for the food production and food ingredients such as production of bakery, wine, beer and, and dairy products. Next, pharmaceutical industry. Microbes are the source of many medicines. The most important contribution of the microbiology in pharmaceutical company is antibiotics. And also vaccines and probiotic medicines are plays big role in our life. Next one is using to manufacture commercial good. Microorganisms are used to produce many commercially important things including foods, cosmetics, medicines. Next, biodegradations. The concentration and toxicity of many environmental pollutants can be reduced by first number of microorganisms. The importance of microbial biodegradation is increasing because they are efficient, economical to use, versatile and don't create any negative impact to the environment. Next, genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is very important in agricultural field. Let's see about scope of microbiology. There are many scope in the field of microbiology due to advancement in the field of science and technology. You can start career as microbiologist, scientist, biotechnologist, food microbiologist, medic medicinal chemist, pharmacologist, genetic engineer, and research and teaching line. If you are an undergraduate in microbiology, you can work at science labs and pathological labs. If you have PG in microbiology, you can work in microbiology based industries like pharmacy, diary, enzyme, etc. And the students who complete PhD can take up teaching in universities and postgraduate colleges and you can also take up a postdoctoral research. So friends, today I have discussed about many important things about microbiology. Hope this video will help you in your future. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel Basics of Biology.